Finding a good mouse that fits you perfectly can be pretty difficult. After all, everyone's hands are a little bit different, and even when you find a shell that's comfortable, the buttons might not be exactly what you want. Well, Rocket aims to change that by releasing the perfect mouse, the mouse that you design yourself. Okay, so Rocket isn't the first manufacturer to release a modular mouse. Razer had their Ouroboros mouse, which used adjustable body panels and replaceable thumb grips, but the mouse still felt mostly the same no matter how you changed it. There's also the Mad Cat Cyborg 9, which featured even more adjustability on every side of the mouse, but that one unfortunately was plagued with sensor jitter and acceleration problems that stopped it from becoming a favorite among enthusiasts. That's where the Rocket Nith comes in. It features a completely replaceable side grip on the right with customizable buttons on the left. Each mouse comes with a regular side grip as well as an extended one with an indent for your ring and pinky. However, this is the only panel that can be changed. It would have been nice to see maybe if the top shell or left side could be interchangeable as well. The whole top shell and side grips are covered in a soft touch rubberized finish. With the narrow side panel, it looks like the Rocket Cone series. In terms of grip, the relatively high arch in the middle feels very similar to the Rocket Cone XTD, and with the extended side panel, it resembles my favorite, the Mionix Neos. I'm a hybrid palm grip, and with the extended side piece panel, it was quite comfortable, and I could see it being very comfortable for full palm grips, but because it has the replaceable side grips, it could be very suitable for claw and hybrid palm grips as well. The side grips are held on just by magnets, so it's really quick and actually very easy to swap them out. One thing that previous modular mice lacked was the ability to change your buttons. But don't worry, the Nith lets you do that. By default, it comes with 12 pre-attached individual keys on the side designed for MMOs and 21 additional keys in a handy carrying case for customization. The mouse itself has a 4x3 grid pattern that lets you arrange your buttons however you want. They come in 1x1 and 1x2 sizes, as well as some flat covers if you don't want certain buttons. I do wish that the buttons had a rubberized grip though, especially the flat covers covers as I was having some trouble picking up the mouse when I was trying to reposition it. Now, if there's a button you'd like that they didn't include, you can actually print your own. Rocket offers 3D models so that you can print your own keys, which is pretty cool. And some of them come in pretty neat shapes, including vertical buttons and plain fat 3x3 buttons. Moving on to the software, Rocket Swarm lets you remap the buttons according to your customized layout. It's a super simple drag and drop interface with an extensive list of options for literally any input you would need. And if it doesn't have it, you can always record your own macros. The mouse itself can glow in a bunch of different patterns and in a rainbow of colors, but it can't do a gradual fade between colors, which is what I was kind of hoping it would be able to do. Instead, it just kind of breathes while cycling through the colors. All right, enough about the aesthetic. The sensor is what really makes or breaks a mouse. Rocket uses the new Twintech R1 12,000 DPI laser sensor with a 1000 Hz maximum pulling rate. There's fully adjustable acceleration, sensitivity on each axis, and even lift off distance control. I've had it for just over a week now and I've tested it while playing Diablo 3 and League of Legends with 6 out of 10 sensitivity in Windows, mouse acceleration off, and no Mark C tweaks. And just to be sure, I had Anthony test it as well with CSGO and Metal Gear Solid 5 with the same settings. We both found that at all DPIs, this mouse had no noticeable acceleration and had minimal shifting when you lift off to reposition. At higher DPIs though, I did see a little bit more shifting, but it's nothing too serious. If you do have a mouse though that is shifting a ton, you can try the tape trick where you just cover up half the sensor with a piece of tape and that should fix it. We also tested a variety of surfaces, including a bare wooden table, hard plastic mouse pads, and soft cloth mouse pads, and we found no problems tracking. It won't work on most glass surfaces though, so you'll need a mouse pad for that, but Honestly, you should be using a mouse pad anyways to preserve the feet. Overall, it's impressive to see Rocket trying something new with their mice other than just adding more colors. Their new R2 laser sensors are just as good as any other existing sensors like everyone's favorite, the 3310. The shell customization isn't just a gimmick either, since it feels like two completely different mice just by swapping out the right side panel. The replaceable buttons on the left side are very cool, but if you're looking to swap out for different games, it does take a little bit of time to physically change the buttons again. 
the software does save different button profiles, but it's just something to think about if you're impatient or if you tend to lose the buttons like me. Also, bonus points for not needing a tool to switch out the buttons, because I would lose that too. And their software comes with a toggle to disable the mouse so you can change up your buttons without closing all your browsers and whatnot. Other than that, the only other downside is the price. With an MSRP of around 120 US dollars, it's quite a lot for a mouse. I mean, you could almost buy two different mice instead of that one that sort of sits in between. Personally, I really like the mouse, but since I don't typically use more than two side buttons anyways, the functionality is kind of wasted. But if you are looking for more buttons, this would be the perfect mouse for you. What do you think? Comment below and let us know if you'd prefer one mouse that could do it all or two separate specialized mice for different tasks. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. And I hope this helped you if you were interested in the Rocket Nith. I usually don't do reviews, so let me know what you thought. Matter of fact, you can tweet me right over there. It's right there. And also you can watch more of our videos right over here. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. taking this with me. I'm still using it. <laughs>